Today I am going to show how to make this hammer in SolidWorks. So let's begin. At first click here and select part and click OK. Now go to sketch and click on this sketch and from here select front plane. Now exit. Now go to features and from reference geometry select here and select plane. Okay, now have from here select front plane and take this distance 25 mm. Okay. Now select front plane again. From reference geometry select plane and take this distance 40 mm. Okay. Now select front plane and click on space bar and click on normal to go to uh, rectangle and uh, select center rectangle from the origin draw a, sec uh, draw a center rectangle okay and go to smart dimension and take this dimension 60 mm and take this one also 60 mm okay now select from uh, plane 1 sketch okay. plane 1 uh, uh, click on space bar and select normal 2 okay Plane one, you could sketch, select circle, and from the center draw a circle. Okay, and go to smart dimension and take this dimension 50 mm. Okay, now uh, select plane two, sketch, plane two. Click on space bar and select normal to now select circle from the origin select a circle and join this corner okay okay exit now go to features select loft lofted base or uh, boss or base now uh, click this upper point also upper point and also upper point okay okay now select front plane and go from reference geometry select another plane and take this one 170 mm and just click flip offset okay okay now uh, select plane 3 sketch uh, click on space bar normal to now select center rectangle from the origin draw a center rectangle okay go to smart dimension and take this dimension just 100 mm take this dimension 5 mm okay Okay, now exit. Now from features, select locked boss or base. Select this face as and okay. So maintain this corner to this corner. Okay. 
now select flex in my software there, there is flex uh, in this corner uh, in your software that may be absent so if flex is absent uh, in your solidrock software just uh, click you uh, put your cursor here and click right button and go to customize and from customize go to commands and now select uh, features and there is flex and just bring it here and just leave it here okay so there is two flex i don't need this two okay okay so we'll check it later so just uh select flex now click this one okay now select trim to click this one and click this corner and now bring it here in this corner so that yeah, this one bends from this point now bring the angle uh, increase angle and make it 45 okay okay now select plane to sketch click on spacebar now uh, from here select okay uh select sketch uh, sorry, go to sketch select 3d sketch and click on convert entities and now uh, this select this one this one is converted okay now select plane 2 it is already in plane 2 uh, space bar and normal 2 now select circle and from this point okay exit select plane 2 okay exit select plane 2 sketch select circle and from this origin point draw a circle okay okay now okay now go to features and click on extruded boss or base and take this one just 50 mm okay okay now select okay top plane sketch now click on spacebar now normal tool now select center line and from the origin draw a center line now select line and from this point draw a line okay now click on control now select this point this line this point make them symmetric okay now we can move this one according to our wish also we can move this one okay now uh, go to features uh, select extruded cut and from here select throw all both okay okay now select okay top plane sketch now click on spacebar and select normal to now select center line and from the origin draw a center line and select circle and from the midpoint of the center line draw a circle 
Okay. Okay, then go to features, click on extruded boss or base, just change the direction and take this one 350, 350 mm. Okay. Now hide this planes. Okay, now uh, select this one. Now click uh, appearance. Change this one. And now select wood and from okay. Select this wood. This one. Okay. Okay. Control Z. Okay. Now, not this one. Select uh, this one. Press and control. This one. Also this one. Now, select iron. This one. Okay. And just okay. Delete this one. Delete this part. Yes. Change this one. Okay. Now change the background. And okay. So this is our hammer. So friend, if you think that this video is useful, please subscribe my channel, like, comment, and share my videos. And if you have any question, you can ask that in the comment box. Thank you.